Project 1065, Chapter 45, Taking the Plunge. I would like to tell you that I fell bravely, that I found a sense of calm, a sense of peace, as I plunged two stories into the pool. The truth is, I screamed in terror the whole way down. I screamed like a baby who dropped his pacifier. I screamed so loud, people probably started running for their cellars in Berlin, thinking I was an air raid siren. I hit the freezing cold water belly first, slapping the scream and the rest of my breath right out of me. I swallowed a lungful of water and would likely have drowned in stunned horror if two Hitler youth boys hadn't fished me out of the pool. I lay on the ground beside it, soaking wet and sobbing for air. At least the icy water streaming from my plastered hair hid my tears. I had never heard the whoop behind me or the splash. I never saw him fished out of the pool by the Hitler youth boys. Somehow, Fritz just appeared above me, bandages dripping with water. He covered me with a blanket. You did it, Fritz said. You overcame your fear. I shook my head. We both knew the truth. I hadn't overcome anything. It had all been Fritz. Without him, I never would have done it. I'd be heading home right now, if not in tears like the weaker boys, then at least ashamed. But it didn't matter. I'd taken the plunge and the judges had seen me do it. I was still in the Hitler Youth. Whether Fritz and I made the SRD was another matter, but at least I was still in the Hitler Youth. I remembered Fritz hugging me and shaking hands after I'd given him the beatdown of a lifetime. Now it was my turn. I offered him his, my hand and he took it, pulling me to my feet. Thank you, I told him. He smiled and shook my hand. We had made it. Together. Now it was time to get our daggers.